Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with JediInsider.com, your number one news source for everything Star Wars. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new Star Wars The Black Series 3.75 inch scale First Order Stormtrooper from The Force Awakens. Now, this is part of Hasbro's new Black Series line that is an exclusive to Walmart stores. It comes packaged in the same style of packaging we see with the 6 inch Black Series. You've got the black box with the red background, the figure clearly displayed. Down in the corner, you have an image of the character, and you have the name of the character in multiple languages. On the side, you have the red border. There's no numbering with these. You do have an assortment number, though, listed. And then on the back, you have the bio in multiple languages. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at what's inside. So here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. Now, first of all, I just want to note that I've had to pull out a figure stand for this figure uh, to keep him from falling over during the review. Uh, this figure does not stand very well at all. This figure stand is not included with the figure, though. Um, but if you're like me, you probably have a ton of old Star Wars figure stands laying around someplace. So you may need to pull one out for this figure. I had the same problem with the Kylo Ren figure that we looked at yesterday. The, these figures just are not standing very well. So the figure itself, it comes with two accessories. It comes with uh, his uh, blaster rifle and these are the same accessories that we see with the six inch version and the rifle looks very similar to the old classic Stormtrooper rifle only it's now black and, and white. So he holds the blaster uh, rifle much better in his uh, left hand than in his right his right hand you can put it in there but it fits very at least on my figure it fits very loosely and has a tendency to fall out now he does hold the the pistol which is the other accessory that he comes with and again this is the same as the six inch version and again it's just done with black and white and he holds that one pretty well in in the right hand and like with the six inch version the pistol has the little clip on the side and you can put it on the side of his leg there's a little hole on the side of his leg you can clip it in. You can also clip in uh, the rifle if you want as well. It's also got the little clip so you can plug either weapon in the, onto the side of his leg just like with the six inch version. The figure itself, uh, the overall sculpting of the figure again is very similar to uh, the six inch version that Hasbro's done. Now there's a little bit difference in articulation between the six inch version and this three and a quarter inch which I'll, I'll show you in a minute but um, overall sculpting details on the figure and paint applications are, are pretty much the same. Now I will say that my figure at least is has pretty sloppy paint applications on it. A lot of bleeding uh, like you can see here on his belt you can see the white has bled over onto the black parts of the belt and again around his joints you can see and uh, there's some white and black kind of bleeding over onto each other and up here on his upper arm you can see some scratch marks on his white armor so definitely some very sloppy paint work at least on my figure I don't this is the only figure I saw um, at the Walmart store so I, I don't know if they're all like this but with mine it's definitely got some uh, fair amount of sloppy paint. For the sculpting details, you have the uh, little thing that sticks out his back um, and you've got the little two lines and the darkened in uh, O on the, uh, on the back as well. You've got the pouches. Uh, this belt piece I think is a separate piece that's just glued on and you've got the pouches and again this is very similar to the six inch version. You've got the little, rank, I guess these are supposed to be rank markings or something, I don't, I don't know, but you see them on all the First Order Stormtroopers. So he's got that on his chest, and those are just painted on with black, and then he's got this little black line also on here. And again, we see that on both the 6-inch and the um, and this 3 and a quarter inch version. So the head sculpt on my figure is pretty good. The paint applications are pretty solid here. This is probably the one area of the figure where it doesn't have uh, sloppy paint applications. Uh, the black markings are pretty clean overall. You've got that little, I guess, little oxygen piece that's done with the silver here down at the bottom. And then, like I said, you've got the black markings and then the white uh, plastic. So overall, I, I think the head sculpt looks good and true to what we see in the trailers and everything. So this figure stands just under four inches tall. 
he is a bit shorter than the Ky the Black Series Kylo Ren figure that we looked at yesterday. Now, real, real quick, while I have this figure out here, I just want to uh, note, I made an error in saying that there's no hinge joints on the uh, hands for Kylo Ren. Uh, that's incorrect. They do have hinge joints on the top, on the bottom, for the up and down movement for, uh, or it's supposed to give you up and down movement with the hands. However, they don't really work. The, the joints are completely covered by the plastic of the arms, so they're pretty much pointless. So technically, I was mistaken in saying they didn't have joints, but... For the most part, really, you get no movement there. So I just wanted to note that. Anyway, going back to the first order stormtrooper. So he's about the same height as a regular stormtrooper. This is one of the regular stormtroopers that Hasbro's done. And you can see they're about the same height. Here's a clone trooper that Hasbro's done. And again, about the same height. And then here's uh, one of Hasbro's five points of articulated snow troopers from the new movie. And again, they're about the same height. So, you know, scale seems to be pretty good with, with this figure. Articulation on the figure is not too bad. The head is on a ball joint, so he can look left and he can look right. And he has a little bit of up and down movement, but not a whole lot. Arms are attached with your standard ball hinge joints. However, because of the shoulder pads, he can only do his arm out about that much. But he does have good rotation at the arm. He has the single hinged elbow, so he can bend his elbow about that much. He's also got the rotation at the elbow. And then he's got the swivels on the wrist, and he does have hinges on his wrists. So um, you can get some up and down movement with these hinges, but not a whole lot. Again, the, the arms themselves kind of cover up these hinge joints on the hand, so you don't get a lot of movement there with the hands. Better than the Kylo Ren figure, but, but still not a whole lot. He's got a midsection joint, so he's got rotation there at the midsection. And he's also, you know, he can kind of pivot back and forth. Now, at least on my figure, this joint is very loose. So the figure kind of has a tendency to uh, flop around a little bit on the with the upper body. No waist swivel. Uh, legs are attached with those ball hinge joints. Now, the pouches on the belt limit how much you can do the splits with this leg so that's about as much as you can do the splits you've also got the rotation there up at that ball joint there at the waist and then he's got a single hinged knee so this is where it differs from the six inch version the six inch version has a thigh swivel and it's got a double jointed knee but you still pretty much got the same kind of swivel uh, because you've got that swivel up there at the ball joint um, and then you can still bend the knee pretty good He's also got a uh, rotation there at the knee as well. And then he's got hinges on the feet. So you've got up and down, pretty good up and down movement with the feet. And you've got rotation there at the feet. It does not have ankle pivot though. And then two peg holes on the bottom of his feet. Okay, so that's my review. Overall, this is a pretty good figure. My only real complaint with it is, that at least with my figure, it's, it does have some kind of sloppy paint applications to it with a lot of bleeding of the whites and the blacks onto each other. But other than that, I think it's a pretty good looking figure. Decent articulation. Certainly a lot better than the five points of articulated figures that we get in the regular line. Now this is a Walmart exclusive and it does cost a bit more than, than those regular figures. Uh, these Black Series figures cost about $13 each and as I said they are exclusive to Walmart stores. They are hitting shelves now. We'll have a full gallery of images up at JediInsider.com. There's a link in the description below. And as always, leave a comment, let us know what you think, and if you're so inclined, please like the video. And until next time, I'll catch you later.